Hi, today we're going to take a look at multi-mic spectral editing in Audacity. So here I've got a sound, it's a guitar string being plucked, and I've recorded it with three different microphones. So we'll just take a quick listen. And right around this point here, as we're going into the tail of the sound, there's an annoying sort of screech sound. Right there. And I'd like to remove that, and the best way to do that is through spectral editing. So what spectral editing allows us to do is to make very precise edits to different frequencies of the audio. So first of all, we're going to go into the spectral view. So if we right click on any of these audio files, I'll go on the first one and select spectrogram. So now we're viewing the spectrogram and we can see that sound is right there. Let's boost the volume a bit. If your spectrogram doesn't look quite like this, just go into the preferences, go to spectrograms, and these are the settings I'm using, so you can copy those down. Let's view the spectrogram for all three channels. So we can see there's a lot more background noise in these two channels than in this one, so I think I'll be working with this one. So with Audacity, we get three spectral editing tools. If we go to the effects menu, and yours might look slightly different to mine, but you want to find the Nyquist effects, and go to the Paul Lysimeli menu. Now Paul's actually done a series of videos about these tools, and he goes into a lot of detail about how to actually use them, so I'll leave links to his videos below this video, and you can go and check those out. I'm not going to go into details about how to use these tools, I'm just going to show you how we can use them in a multi-channel context, so we can edit multiple files at once. So my favourite tool to use is the Spectral Edit Multi-Tool, that's the one I find myself using most often, so that's the one we'll be focusing on. Not shown in that menu, but there is also a spectral delete if we go to edit and preferences and go to shortcuts and type in spectral. And there it is, spectral delete. And I've got mine assigned to shift plus delete. If you don't have anything assigned to yours, just add a shortcut here. So I've got mine shift plus delete. So in the spectrogram view, if we highlight an area and press shift and delete, it will delete that uh, selection of frequencies. But I like to focus on the multi-tool, and that's what we're going to use to remove this uh, noise here. And I said I was going to use this one, but I think actually we'll work in the first channel here. So we'll just give ourselves a bit more room. I'm going to zoom in here. And then I'm going to drag a box over the noise, and this line represents the center frequency. And we can click and drag on that to sort of snap. And then, now usually what I'd do, and let's just pull this up, usually what I'd do is I'd hit one on my keyboard, and that would trigger the multi-tool effect. So the uh, Spectral Edit multi-tool, I have that assigned to one on my keyboard's numpad. So if I click that, we'll see that it removes that noise, essentially. But it hasn't affected the other two channels, so let's undo that. So when we have this selection, we can actually press Control, Shift, and K, and that will give us the same selection on the other channels. Now if I run that multi-tool using the shortcut key, it now affects all three channels. But that was a bit cumbersome because we have to remember to press Control shift k to move our selection. So I'm going to show you now how we can set up a macro that will do that automatically for us. So let's undo that. Let's go to Tools, Macro Manager, and we're going to create a new macro. We'll call it Spectral Edit Multi-Tool All Tracks, because this will affect all tracks in the project. So the way the macro manager works is we're basically going to give it a set of tasks to perform, and in this case it's just two tasks. When we run the macro we want it to take the current selection and apply it to all the tracks, just like we did by pressing Control shift k and then we want it to run the, uh, in this case, the multi-tool, the spectral edit multi-tool. So we're going to click insert, and we're going to look for the command to select, uh, to, to extend the selection to all the tracks. And in our case, that's the in all tracks command. The first time you use the macro tool, it can take a bit of experimentation to find out which command you actually want. But in our case, we want the in all tracks. So I'll click OK on that. We'll click insert again. And now we're going to look for the spectral edit multi tool. Here we go, spectral edit multi tool. So it's going to run these commands in order of from top to bottom. So the numbered there as well, 0, 1, 0, 2. Etc. So it's going to run these two commands. 
So we'll hit save on that and click close. So now if I make my selection again, I go to tools, apply macro, there's our spectral edit multi-tool all tracks. If I click that, it now does the same thing we were doing manually. Let's now assign this to a keyboard shortcut. So I'll just undo that. Okay, so we'll go to edit preferences and we're already in the shortcut section. So we're going to search for spectral edit. And there's the macro we've created, spectral edit, multi-tool, all tracks. You can see I've already got one here for the edit shelves. So now we're going to assign a keyboard shortcut to the one we just created. So we'll come down here where it says set, and I'm going to assign mine to control and numpad one. And there we go, click OK. So once again, I can select the sound I want to remove. Press control and numpad one. And now that applies it to all the tracks. And let's take a listen to the before and after. And after. And that's how we can perform multi mic spectral editing in Audacity. Check out the links to Paul's videos in the video description to find out all the details of using these spectral editing tools. They are really useful. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below the video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.